for reaction two, the charge on the left hand side is 92 in terms of electronic charge and on the right hand side is also 92 therefore the charge for C is 0 now the mass on the left hand side is 144 in terms of atomic mass unit and 140 plus X on the right hand side therefore X must be 4 and C is a neutron the binding energy per nucleon of a nucleus is the average energy per nucleon required to separate the nucleus into its constituents, neutrons, and protons. So the binding energy of uranium-235 is 1,786 MeV. So that means that this amount of energy is released when uranium-235 is separated into 92 protons and 143 neutrons. Similarly, when xenon is formed from its constituents, 1166.21 MeV of energy is released. Therefore, the net energy released is the binding energy of xenon plus binding energy of Sr strontium less the binding energy of uranium-235. For reaction 1, a greater amount of energy is released. This implies that the products of reaction 1 have greater binding energies, hence they are more stable products.